Dang it! <laughs> Welcome back. Well, yes, we've been back to Dollar Tree and have a few fun things to show you, so stick around. Yes, 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 we have been back to the Dollar Tree. As a matter of fact, if you guys watched our haul last week, then you know that we just made one big trip to big, huge Dollar Tree over in St. Augustine, and we got enough stuff that we split it into two weeks. So this is gonna be a continuation of those goodies that I found at that bigger, better store than the store in my town. So we're just gonna jump right on in. Again, you guys know, if you've been following this channel, we just do this in a completely random order. There's some food here, there's some kid stuff here, there's stationary stuff here, there is a little bit of crafting stuff here, some fun outdoorsy stuff too. So let's just get started. This first item that I got is a definite repurchase. If you guys have been following over on the vlog channel, then you watched Bub do something very exciting with this item. And it is the pie. Uh-huh, mm-hmm, yes, these are delicious. And when that vlog posted, someone had commented to me to let me know that these usually run $2.50 at Walmart. Who knew? Not me. I never even had seen these before. So when I found that out and realized these were only a dollar and realized how delicious they were, we went back for another one and another one and another one and another one and another one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I picked up five more of these and no, I know they're not Transformation Tuesday friendly and no, we're not going to have them all at one time, but I figured while they were just a buck, I wanted to have them around for those special occasions when we had a little sweet tooth. The next item that I got is also a repurchase and it is the little flat soap dishes. These are the ones that have the little suction cups on back. These are super hard to find right now. I have checked about four or five different Dollar Trees and they're real hard to come by. So whenever I saw one of these in that big old store, I definitely grabbed one. These work well. We have some up in both of our showers already, but you guys know that I found some of the Bolero soap and I needed its own little soap dish so it didn't get mixed up with my hubs soap. So got another one of these. This Dollar Tree had some of the fun duct tapes back. So I did pick up the pink. Got two rolls of that. This has been a little hard to come by too, so had to get that. Some of the stores already have out their 4th of July decor. Mm-hmm, already, you guys. And you know how it is at the Dollar Tree. If you don't get it while it's there, it's gone. So while it was there, I went ahead and picked me up another little door hanger. Those of you that have been following the channel for any length of time know that I put these door hangers up for every season. Every season, we've got a door hanger on the door, front and back. So, since I only have one for the front door, had to get one for the back door. This next purchase was one that Bub found that he wanted to try, and that is the fudge. This is the fudge that comes in the little box here. Let's see if I can figure out how many ounces. Four ounces. There are four ounces of fudge in there. Let's try to open this up and see what it looks like. Okay, so it comes in this little pouch and they're already cut into cubes for you. It looks like there is about, maybe about 12 little cubes of fudge in there. I'm real excited to taste this and see. As a matter of fact, Bub, can I taste this now? Your fudge. Ooh, okay, so let's taste it right now, shall we? I know we got some healthy snacks coming up for you at the end of the video, but sometimes you just gotta have something sweet. So what it looks like, smells like fudge. Mm. It has a decent taste, but that definitely doesn't taste like fudge. Like if you go to a fudge shop and get a brick of fudge, mm, you guys know what I'm talking about. This, nowhere near that good, but it's not too bad. I mean, mm, doesn't really taste like fudge, but not too bad. So if you just want a little chocolatey snack, then I would say it's probably worth a dollar. 
It wouldn't be something that I'd be in a hurry to repurchase again though. Let's just be honest. One of the crafting items that I wanted to get was the little six pack of the sequins. Absolutely love these and haven't seen them at the store nearest to me. So wanted to get these while we were there. Like I said, there are six pouches in here and it's kind of a little gradiated color family right there. Love these for doing crafting projects. So I picked up the pink set and the blue set. An item that I picked up that I've never picked up at Dollar Tree before was this little 10 pack of sponges. This is what it looks like. Can you guys see all the different ones there from the side? They have all kinds of different sponges at Dollar Tree and I have, are not sponges, these are scouring pads, like the scrubby ones. I have bought different kinds there before and I bought the Brillo brand there and absolutely love them. But then I saw these and there were 10 in here for a dollar instead of two or five. So I thought, well, that's gonna be a better value if they work. They feel pretty thick. They do feel a little bit different than some of the other ones that I have picked up from there. So not sure that they're gonna work extremely well or not, but 10 for a dollar, I definitely wanted to give these a try. Another item that we love to keep around here are the little gloves. Bub and I both love to use these when we're cleaning in the kitchen, especially if there are any harsh chemicals that we need to use in there. So best place for us to get them is Dollar Tree. Another item that we like to keep around here, and I know it's boring because it's just a little repurchase, but are the little garbage bags for the kids' bathroom. This next item is a super fun item that I found, you guys. <laughs> Look at those lips. You guys know how much by now that I love the little lip prints. Matter of fact, you guys saw an awesome DIY that I posted for you yesterday. Love, love, love these little lip prints. So I saw these. These are actually wall decals that you put on the wall to, to decorate up a room with. But I am going to do another DIY with these and try to find a place to incorporate these in that office of mine. And don't forget, because most of these wall decals has them on the front and the back, so I got my two set of lips for a dollar. Well, actually four, because the little lips are on there too. Picked up a new fun little spring wind spiral for outside. By now you guys have seen, just in different hauls, but also if you watch the vlog channel and I take you outside once in a while, I let you hear my little wind chimes blowing. All those came from Dollar Tree, by the way, and you guys know that so well, but look at this beautiful little wind spiral. Isn't that beautiful down on the bottom? It has the little tassels. Just so pretty with those butterflies, so I cannot wait to watch this spin in the wind. Most of you guys are fully aware by now that we work with the children's program at our church, and so one of the prizes we'll be giving away real soon, Silly String. What kid doesn't love Silly String? What adult doesn't love Silly String? Dollar Tree very often carries the vacuum storage bags. I've never tried them from Dollar Tree before though, and I wanted to give these a try. So we picked up this in the large size. There's just one bag in here, and let's see if it gives us the dimensions. Yes, it's a 17 and a half by 27 and a half bag. So that is over two feet long and about a foot and a half wide. So I'm excited to try these. We'll definitely let you know how these work. You guys also know from following the vlogs that my little bub plays soccer and he is always working on those soccer skills. So we had to pick him up some of the little cones to do that with. These cones come in a two pack for a dollar. So for two dollars, he's got four new cones for all that fancy footwork. One of the hub's favorite things to eat is a delicious, hot, soft, gooey blue bear muffin straight out of the oven. And we found Marie Callender's at the Dollar Tree, so this is gonna make him quite happy. If you guys watched that vlog, then you also know that the Hubs was with me that night that we went into this big old store and he found him a couple of other food things like these Mrs. Freshly's Delicious Deals Fruit and Grain Bars. He found these in the strawberry and he also found them in the blueberry. There are six bars in each one. He's had them before. You can tell he's been into them already now and they are quite delicious if you're looking for something like this to go along as part of a healthy breakfast. This item that we picked up is really not a great deal at the Dollar Tree. You really can get this cheaper at Walmart and even other places. But while we were there, convenience was the name of the game. So we picked up some of these little ramen noodles. These are the chicken ones, five for a dollar, and the beef ones, five for a dollar. That makes these about 20 cent a pack, and like I said, you can definitely pick these up cheaper elsewhere, but just to let you know, Dollar Tree does carry things like this, so if you ever need to run in and you're just anchoring for some of these little ramen noodles, you can get them at the Dollar Tree. And now we've got some of those healthy snacks to try for you. 
This week I have three of the healthier options. You guys know that for the last several weeks we've been trying to help you find some healthier snack options at the Dollar Tree because very often we're out and about, we're shopping, we get hungry, we want to grab something and it's nice to know that there are healthier options out there to grab on the go. So one of the things that the hubs picked up for me to try was the Red Barn Sea Salt Popcorn. I'm gonna try that. Another thing that he found was the Great Potato Potato Stick Classic. I'm gonna give those a try. And at the suggestion of one of you, I'm gonna also try the Dry Roasted, is that Edamame? Edamame? I don't know how you say it, but we're gonna try it. First one we're gonna try is the Red Barn Sea Salt Popcorn. Simple ingredient list here. There's only the popcorn, there is the oil, and there is some sea salt. Now, obviously this one is not air pop like some of the other ones that we've tried, so a little less healthy than some that we have shown you, but healthier than other options, so let's dig in. Serving size of this is half a cup. There are 160 calories. 11 grams of fat, 13 carbohydrates, zero grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. So let's see what it tastes like. Smells delicious. It almost smells like some of those specialty popcorns, you know, you get around the holidays that come in the tin cans. Yeah, it kind of has that kind of smell to it. Looks nice and fluffy. Let's hope it's not stale. Mmm. That's very good. It doesn't taste extremely salty, and I personally love sea salt. We buy sea salt, and I cook with sea salt here in our home. We don't re buy regular salt anymore. It's always sea salt, and this is not overly salty. And it really almost has the taste of an air pop popcorn. It is very good, but it is very bland. Like I said, it doesn't have a very strong salt, so if you guys don't like a lot of salt, then that's good. Matter of fact, let's see how much sodium is in here. In the half a cup serving, you are gonna get 330 milligrams. I'm not really sure if that's good or bad because I don't count sodium. I know I should, but I don't. Anyway, that's how much in there if you wanna know the sodium count. It is very good though, and it's a very light taste, just kind of a very plain taste popcorn. So if you like that, you're gonna like this. Now we're gonna try these potato sticks. Three simple ingredients, it says. There are select potatoes, cottonseed oil, and salt. Serving of this is a whole cup, so that's quite a bit of, the, of these. There's 150 calories, 10 grams of fat. That's a lot of fat. Only two of those are saturated fat, so that's not quite as bad. 13 carbohydrates, one sugar, two grams of protein, and the sodium count on this is only 95 milligrams, so there's less salt in these than in that popcorn we just tasted. So let's try them. They're very, very thin. Those of you that know potato sticks, some people use these in recipes, kind of like as a crunchy crust topper on casseroles. Those are good. If you like plain potato chips, like if you just like Lay's or Ruffles or any of those brands that have a, just a plain chip, and you don't like a flavoring on them, and then these are good. I can definitely taste the salt on these. Like, I taste more salt on these than I did on the popcorn, but the popcorn does have more sodium in it than these do. But these are good. If you like just that plain potato chip kind of taste, which I do a lot of times, so these are good. Now we're gonna try this edamame, or however you say that word. I'm not real sure. I don't even know what it is. It does say that it's vegan, zero trans fats, gluten-free, cholesterol-free. Let's read the back and see if I can figure out what this is. Great choice of soy protein, so I'm gonna think that, well, the ingredients are soybeans, sea salt, soybean oil, and that's it. So I guess these are soybeans. I've never had a soybean. I have had soy milk, but never had a soybean, so I'm a little nervous, yes. They don't smell extremely good. That's what it looks like. It almost looks like a pea. I've never even seen a soybean. I know, that's terrible. I know, I haven't. And these are dry roasted, so I guess they're probably lightly brushed with that oil on the top. They're dry roasted and they're lightly salted with sea salt. So here we go. My first taste of a soybean. That has a very interesting flavor, you guys. I don't quite know how to describe that. 
Let's go over some of the nutrition facts and then I'll decide if I like this or not. All right, the serving size of these is a quarter cup. They're 140 calories, seven grams of fat, eight carbohydrates, three grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein. Wow, this packs a lot of protein, but I don't know you guys. I'm not even sure really what to tell you that tastes like because it doesn't taste really like anything I've had before. <laughs> if you guys have had soybeans, then you're gonna know what it tastes like. I'm not sure that I'm liking this one. I'm not sure that I'm liking this one. This is probably how I would like to eat these. Like if I mix these in a salad, or even if I like chop these up in the little nut chopper and use these sprinkled on a salad to add in some protein, then I think I would like it because they are nice and crunchy. And I think it would give a nice little crunch to something like that. But to just sit here and eat them plain right out of the bag, I honestly just don't think I could do that. I don't like them well enough. But the flavor, it's not so bad that I could not eat it as like a crispy, crunchy topper to a salad. So I think that's how I would try to eat these. And since these do have 14 grams of protein in there, then I think that I might, I think that I might would do that. I need to look up soybeans a little more because I've heard positive and negative on soybeans. So not, not extremely sure. I didn't realize that's what edamame or edamame or however you say that. I didn't realize that's what this was. So I want to do some more research on that. But they do not a great flavor on their own to me personally. Wouldn't want to just sit here and eat them out of the bag. If you're on the go and you're in a hurry and you just need to pack in some protein real quick, then I guess you probably could chug that down. Just have a big bottle of water. <laughs> all right so there you go that is my dollar tree haul for this week not a lot of new exciting things yet but some fun things nonetheless dollar tree is always moving product around though so keep your eye out for some fun things i'm sure coming very soon i want to thank you so very much for sitting here with me for a few minutes today remember you were created for purpose so go and be all you can be and i'll see you soon in the next video